guys, I'm back down by the river to get more of the rock. Look at it. Whoa, yes, look at that. Okay, okay, this is this is now turning out even better than I expected. Whoa, that's too much. Okay, guess what? It's raining again in the UK. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're having a good day. So in the last video, you saw me escape the basic hardscape structure for the new Newt Paladarium, Aquaterrarium, Waterfall, Lagoon, a multitude of names. <laughs> so I wanted to go for something a little bit different with this build, getting stuff locally sourced, like from the river, or you know, I suppose you could potentially go to the beaches or whatever, if that's allowed in your country. I think there's some sort of laws, so just make sure everything's okay. But so far, I think it's looking fantastic. We need to get our gravel in the bottom now and just start adding those little details that just make the whole scape come to life so let's get on with it so i think that's where we pretty much want to be of our whole rock sort of waterfally landscape thing water level is going to be about halfway guys for a couple of nukes that's way more than water than they actually need but i just think it's better to give like more for them than is needed it'll look better anyway on camera and and for me to view and for any guests i have coming i need to get this hand out of the way what's this doing all the time right so we can get in the bottom here well, i did it straight away <laughs> in the bottom here we can now add in our gravel that we collected so that's ready where is it oh it's out here isn't it so yeah, look, it's all nice and clean. Let's get that in. So after I've washed it, look, you can see a lot of the coarse stuff has just gone to the top and then the fine stuff is at the bottom. And that's, you know, that's normal. That's how normal, that's how it works. <laughs> Let's get in the tank anyway. Okay, okay, this is this is now turning out even better than I expected. Look at how natural and real that looks. The substrate is a little bit darker than I was expecting, but I think it just adds to the overall, you know, look. It blends in so well with the rock, with that moss there as well, and complete contrast to Pancho's Paladarium, so that's cool. It's good to have different stuff next to each other. It really showcases each tank individually then, I think. So as I'm building this, guys, I'm continuing my research all the time, you know. Don't get animals unless you know what you've got to do to look after them. And I've read that newts can climb glass. Like, they're not great at it, but they can do it. So we definitely need a lid. So this is what I've done. I've ordered some netting. So it's like insect netting, which just might be perfect for the flies as well, to be fair. There you go, look. So I've got a nice big sheet of it and I can make a little frame for it and then just put a little bit of acrylic or perspex lining just the little corners and then I can set a neat little frame down with that netting all the way across so you won't really notice it especially the black background but it will still let the light through and it will stop insects and what have you but most importantly it will keep the newts in their aquarium but what's great about that now is it means that I can build this rock up even higher get even more greenery on there and not have to worry about them being able to climb out let's do it guys I'm back down by the river to get more of the rock Look at it. It's completely flooded. Like, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get the rocks. Whoa, yes, look at that. It's right up. That's normally, this whole area is normally completely exposed. We've got some serious rain in the UK at the moment. Okay, so yesterday we were stood down there getting loads of rocks. I'm not going to be doing that today but we only need the rocks from up here. It means I'll have to wash them off, but that's not a problem. So one of the best things about having no hair, it doesn't matter when it rains. <laughs> so Pancho's tank is looking a little bit grimy. It's not quite as crystal clear as it was. The water levels dropped. But the thing is with this tank is that because the water inlet for the filter comes to about here, as I'm pulling water out, I actually need to fill it up at the same time so it can make water changes a little bit tricky but first of all let's feed pancho and now if you're going to do any feeding you want to do it before you like do any maintenance cleaning all that sort of thing so let's go and get him a nice blood worm block here's our blood worms in the freezer So I just like to run the bloodworm cubes just underneath a little bit of warm water just to take all that frosting off and then a the pancho can eat it a lot nicer. Pancho, 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 I have a treat for you. He knows the pincers now. He knows that my pincers mean it's food time. Look, look, look he's getting ready. 
He's getting ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, obviously it will be cold, but not freezing. I'll run that hot tap over it. You can see it's pretty much defrosted already. Look at him thrashing at it. Go on, boy. His gills will go really red now as well. Look at <laughs> He's so greedy. Look, it's like he's thrashing. He's trying to kill it as if it was like a live animal. And now you see all these bloodworms that are just dotted around the place. Well, he won't actually eat those. So that's why it's a good idea now to do our water change and clean up the sides of the aquarium. So that's Pancho's tank looking sweet again. Lots of people ask me though how I keep up with maintenance and everything, but as I'm showing there, when I'm doing things in the studio, I stop quite often and just clean a tank. Like I'll do one tank every day or, or maybe every other day, and then by the end of the week, everything's clean again. So you can start again and rotate and just, I play it by ear, I have a little look, see what is good, see what isn't good and then I can just decide what needs cleaning. So for instance, you can see like behind me, Timmy's tank starting to look a little bit grotty. Again, it's that new tank thing. It's a lot of diatoms, a bit of algae from the uh, light. Remember, as I said, I made this tank so it was quite simple. So I can t actually take all of this out, clean all the sand, scrub the rocks, in about 20 minutes, it'll be nice and clean again. So that'll be tomorrow's job. But back to the tank in question, guys. So I've got all the rocks ready to stack all the way at the top in this section here. But before we do that, I wanna get all the plumbing in. I've got the Oase 250 Fermo. I'll gonna show you that in a second. I wanna get it all plumbed in, ready to go, so that then we can attach rocks around it and we can see where the water's gonna be flowing then as we do it, rather than sort of guessing later on. And it never works out right like that. So let's get the water going, fill it up in that first and build around it. Ah, and also for those of you who keep asking constantly when the angelfish tank's gonna be done, guess what? We have Hardscape from Aquarium Gardens. Dave has sent me a big box of Millennium Stone, another box that has been absolutely destroyed by the delivery men, but it doesn't matter because it's, you know, it's all there. That's also Millennium Stone in that one. And then we've got a big box of Manzanita at the bottom. So that should be awesome. All ready to go. I've got everything sorted. I've just got some lights coming. Now, Fluval are actually sending me the lighting for this one. I've got four of the nano plants coming. I know that sounds a bit strange. Why would you want nano lights on a massive tank? But there's four of them and you can change the brightness, intensity, all that jazz. And I think just spotlights in general on a jungle tank just look brilliant. So filtration guys, here we have the Oase Fermo Biomaster 250. Now this is awesome because it comes with a pre-filter here. You just flick this to the side and pull it up. I'm not gonna take it out because it's full of water and it's actually been mature in this filter, so it will be ready to go. Built-in heater as well, awesome. Both those two things are great. You can get your filter super clean really quickly by cleaning these and you can just keep it heated without having an ugly bit of equipment in the tank because let's face it, no heaters look good. So first of all, I need to get the pipe work plumbed in where we want it and fed down to the back into the bottom of the cabinet. I suppose it's, and at this point I'm gonna mention as well, these aquariums, both of these aquariums here are from Aquariums for Life. I'll leave a link in the description. Go and have a look at their website. Their prices are really good. They ship worldwide. So just have a look and see if it's something you're interested in. I mean, look at that finish. Look at that stone finish. That's awesome, isn't it? And just the tanks in general look amazing, look. That's 12 mil glass, by the way, Opti White. 12 mil Opti White glass is awesome. This one's 10 mil, but that's because it's like a little bit more engineering involved, obviously. But look at that. It's just both of them next to each other, just stunning, aren't they? Right, anyway, let's get that plumbing on. Oh, that's the plumbing in look. See, I'm still not completely decided about this side or how it's gonna go. So I've just left it like that for the minute. I'll build the rocks up, maybe take that duck bill bit off, push it back, hide it between the rocks and we can have like a proper sheer drop with one of the rocks or something like that. Let's just get the water flowing first. We can decide that later. So there we go. It's all plugged in. Well, it's not plugged in, it's plumbed in, ready to be plugged in and turned on. But first of all, obviously, we've got to fill the aquarium up with water. Oh, and once again, we've got an audience. Hey, a punch.
Well, that's already looking good. I just need to build up that area now, all the way up to where the outlet is, and then I can somehow like place the rocks around it so that it stops the flow, if you like, and then it will just trickle down the rocks. Is the plan anyway, let's just see how it goes. Right, so there I've built up the waterfall area, if you like. You know, I've blocked in the outlet to make sure it doesn't just fly everywhere. It should trickle down through this gap here now and come all the way down. That looks a bit pointy at the moment. It's not staying like that. I'm going to build up this side. I'm going to build up that side as well. But I just want to get the water set right first before we start building around it, adding more sticks, details, all that stuff. So let's get it on and see how it's working. Right, we have a full vacuum all over. The flow is coming through. Once that air in the system gets through, it should start coming out a lot faster. Okay, now we're getting there. Air bubbles trying to clear. I've just moved the rocks out of the way so you can see the flow's picking up a bit. Again, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna to need to rearrange some of the rocks because as you can see, a lot of that's just getting dragged down the back. So if we can fill in those gaps somehow, maybe maybe some silicon might, might work actually. A little bit of silicon and then just putting some crushed or some of this finer stuff down here would work really well and it would just keep that flow coming forwards rather than just going down a small crack at the back. That's what it's about guys, testing, giving it a go, fixing it and then doing it again. Okay, so I've removed the air pocket. Now we've got a proper waterfall going on. I've stuck that big rock in there as well. I'm not sure if I'll keep it yet, but I do quite like what's going on there. It's gonna give me an area to put some more rocks there. I'll put some in the front of it to get different layers and levels. That should look sweet. Water's a bit cloudy, so I've just put this little filter in, this power head with some filter floss in just to clear it up nice and quickly for us. So we can just, you know, see the actual result a lot quicker. Otherwise we'll be here for like ages. <laughs> right, so I've had a thought guys. As great a job as the Oase filters are doing there, if I'm gonna be putting a lid on this, they are gonna cause a problem at the back there. So I think what I'm gonna do is take one of these, ah, oh, the water's clearing nicely now, as you can see. A little, little bit of haze still, but that'll soon clear. I think I'm gonna take one of these, hide it behind some of these rocks here and have a pipe running all the way around the back and coming out the top there. And that way, the only thing we have to have coming out the top is this tiny little wire, which we can easily, you know, cut into the, the lid for. But currently, you know, we've got all these like angles coming off. And even if I go around it, the problem is there's going to be gaps in there that could potentially come through. I'm going to have to block them with a di It's just going to be a pain in the bum, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take those out. Probably going to use that filter along with my other filter on this one. So I've got double filtration on either side. But for now, yeah, it's a shame because it's working well. But at the same time, one of these filters will work well as well. too much <laughs> as with most things in life is about finding the right balance so I've come up with something there to sort of disperse the water in more sort of a waterfally kind of way and had a little bit of an accident whilst doing it but that's all right we're getting there we're getting there it's looking good there's a good flow there I'll fill around with it more and try to get like a real sort of solid stream coming out but there's a lot of water coming down which is good all areas are receiving water and that's exactly what we want. So we've got the substrate in or decorative sand slash gravel. We've got the waterfall sorted. We've got the filtration sorted. It's all going really well. And at some point make a lid as well because we are going to need a lid for this. But now we've taken out all of the pipe work that we had before. It should be nice and simple to make one. 